Good morning, guys. Time completely got away from me today, and it's already 3 o'clock, so it's nowhere near morning like yesterday. But <laughs> good morning, anyway. Um, it's been a pretty chill morning. I did all the stuff I normally do. Treatment meds, took Panda out, ate, and uh, just been basically sitting watching YouTube since then. I would really like to go for a run tonight. The whatever it was I did to my back yesterday is gone, pretty much, and so... I really, really want to go for a run. I've been wanting to go for a run for a couple of weeks and things always like pop up. So hopefully nothing will. And tonight I'd like to, do the, to kind of do that push run I told you guys about. <coughs> um, <coughs> and see where I'm at. I'd really like to see if I can still run a half mile because that's kind of where I was at. But that was like May or the beginning of June that I did that. So, um... We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to take it like a really easy pace, but we'll see what happens. Um, sorry, my sister's texting me. Um, so, besides that, not much to report. Um, overall, it's just been, a, like I said, a pretty chill day. But I am going to see if I can find an app on my phone, like a goal planner or a goal setter or something like that. I have my running notebook already, but I'm going to see if I can... Um, find something on my phone because I obviously I'm on my phone more than I am on a notebook to kind of track my running um so maybe if you guys have any good suggestions for that I already have an app that like shows my distance and, and speed and that's what I use but like a like an in-depth kind of thing so if you guys have any suggestions for that I'd love to hear them um <clears throat> and the other thing is I was considering it's technically not quite a year yet. August 28th will be a year, but August 28th I'll be leaving for North Carolina. So I was considering making a, a ankle update one year later kind of video. Um, so if you guys would like to see that, um, also let me know in the comments because I've been kind of debating back and forth whether or not I want to make that. I know one video that's coming up at some point is, um, I've been thinking a lot about it, is I want to make a video on my whole dental journey um once it's complete once i get those crowns it's something that i haven't I've, i mean i've talked about in bits and pieces and, and a lot more and more recently but there's a lot surrounding it that i still haven't talked about and so it's always been kind of a kind of a touchy subject for me in a way um with the dental stuff but so one video that will definitely be coming up is when i can when i get those crowns and i'm completed with that i plan to make a a full dental video um but anyway that's all i've got for this morning um but really 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 would like to if you guys are runners and you have any tips for some running apps that are great i don't care if i have to pay for them i will um let me know because i really want something something good that'll really help me keep track so hope you guys are having a great day as well and i'll see you guys in a little while Hey guys, so it has been a couple hours since I last vlogged, although there's not really much to say. I've just been waiting for it to hit about 8, 8.30 so I can go for a run. The logistics of trying to run in Florida in the summer. Technically, I guess I could have gone on the treadmill, but I really don't feel like doing that again because it just gets boring. So, just been hanging out around the house. We did just order some DoorDash, so I'm going to eat that and hopefully by the time that comes and I've eaten that, it'll be... I don't want to run right after eating a hamburger because that probably wouldn't end very well, but um, <laughs> it'll be closer to the time uh, that I plan on running. Took Panda out, and uh, yeah, I feel like my vlog's been really boring lately, but there's just not a whole lot going on. <laughs> um, when I do uh, do my run today, I want to see if the pool is open yet. The, the pool they've been doing the construction on since like April, which is crazy. They had it basically closed the entire summer. We have another pool, but it's like all the way over on the other side of the apartment complex. And so it just was more hassle to go there than, and it's also smaller than this pool. So, um, but anyway, so there was a sign on there a couple days ago that said they want it open by August 8th at the latest because they're just coordinating it now. So when I run by there tonight, I think I'll see if, uh, if it's open yet um because maybe it'll be i've been it, it looks really nice now like they redid the whole bottom and the the tile around it it looks really nice so maybe it'll be open and uh, we can go swimming soon but otherwise not much to report just hanging out and uh enjoying the hot day although it's actually a good day to run it's hot like our heat index is like 101 or something right now but 
it is not nearly as humid as it has been so and that's really what gets to me not so much the heat but the humidity so it'll be a good day for running um once it cools off so i'll see you guys in a little while i did uh i did watch there's a, a pilot on youtube that i follow he does a live stream like every sunday so i watched that for about an hour it's pretty cool because he answered my questions so that was fun but besides that just been hanging out hey guys so i just got back from my run and uh the purpose of tonight's run was basically to do a push run to see how far i could go um so i can base off of there and it was a little over a quarter mile it was point zero point two seven so like point zero point zero two over a quarter um, but I can already tell that what I'm going to have the most trouble with is pace. I went out there way too fast. Um, I am not trying to break any records for this 5k. I'm not trying to come in first. I'm simply trying to finish. So I probably want to run 15, 16 minute miles, like very slow. And, uh, I was on pace for a 12 minute mile. So I need to definitely slow down. So next time when I run, hopefully tomorrow morning, if I get up on time, um, I need to just like actually look at my pace and look at what I'm doing and be like slow down because especially like come adrenaline on race day I know I'm probably gonna go out of the gate really fast so I need to teach myself right now to slow down because if I'd slowed down I probably would have been able to go farther so not like I said not trying to come in first not trying to break any records just simply trying to finish within the hour time limit set and <clears throat> I could run a 16 minute mile and still do that. I did the math while I was sitting out there. I was actually gonna sit out there longer because it's a beautiful sunset, but I started getting eaten alive by no CMs. So I was like, not gonna do that. But, um, so that's how it went. I'm pretty happy with it still. Um, I mean, at least I can still run a quarter. I haven't lost too much fitness. And uh, for now, I'm just gonna keep running quarters, keep uh, telling myself to slow down. And when that starts getting easier, I'll bump up the mileage and just, go from there and uh i think every thursday maybe not this week since this i'm gonna try not to run on sundays typically and this week was kind of a push day but from now on i think on thursdays i'm gonna you know do my heavier runs and kind of see where i'm at assess my my limits and then go from there so that's the plan in my head we'll see how it works out in real life but uh <clears throat> i think i think it'll be good and it felt so good to run outside again been forever since I was able to do that. I've been on the treadmill the past three or four runs and that's just, it gets the job done, but it's not fun. It's just really boring. So, um, but that's all I've got for today. I'm going to go ahead and upload this now. So thank you guys so much for coming along on my day today and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.